Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an employee productivity dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of employee productivity dashboard in Microsoft Excel. Here on the left hand side, we are showing some slicer to filter the dashboard like by department or if you want to filter by month. And then we are showing some charts and cards here like total employee, average hour worked and total error made, total task completed, average efficiency percentage. We are showing here task completed percentage. This is the overall task completed, completed percentage and uh, total task by task status. This is the in progress percentage of the task and here we are showing the total employee by productivity rating. So how many we have the poor rating, below average, average rating, good and the excellent rating. You can filter it by the job title also to see for a particular job title. Like if I want to see the managers, then you can see for the managers or you can filter by the locations also. If you want to see this information for a specific location, you can filter that. Now here we are showing the completed versus spending by the location. We have taken the four location branch A, branch B, head office, remote. Okay. Now we have created some other pages on the top. We have given the navigation pane. So we have here overview page. Now let's click on the department and job role. So let's click. Now it has taken us to the another page, which is department and job role. On the left hand side and on the right hand side, we have the same slicers. In the mid section, we have some charts like average hour worked by the department. We can see maximum hour worked is for the finance department and less is for the IT department. Then here we have total error made by the department. And this is the pending versus completed task by department. And here we have the completion percentage by job title on this chart. Then the next page is the individual performance. So we are showing here the top 10 employees and uh, we are showing the completion percentage for the top 10 employees and completed versus pending. And this is the total error made by the employee name, average efficiency percentage by the employee. Then the next page is the supervisor overview. And here we are showing the supervisor level overview like in progress percentage here by the supervisor completed versus pending by the supervisor completed percentage by the supervisor and average efficiency percentage by the supervisor. The last chart is the productivity heat map wherein we are showing the productivity related information like average efficiency percentage by the productivity rating. So we have here five productivity rating and we have given productivity rating for each employee. So we can see wherein productivity rating is excellence. Then how, what is the efficiency? You can see that information here. Average hour worked by the productivity rating. So we can see maximum hour, hour worked is for the good rating. Okay. Total error made by the productivity rating. So you can see that information also and uh, completion percentage by the productivity rating. So you can see that also. Okay. This is on the basis of some dummy data, but you can input your actual data also and uh, you can further filter the data as per your requirement using the slicers. Like if you want to see a particular location, then you can just click there or for a particular ratings only and then you can select that. Now I will show you how you can input your data. So let's go to the file and go to the options then go to the advanced and just scroll it down. Here display option for this workbook just check this so C tab because C tabs are not visible. Now C tabs are visible. You can see the CTAB name overview, department and job role analysis, individual performance, supervisor and productivity heat map. Then we have the data tab. Here on the data tab, we have the data. We have here employee ID, employee name, department. Then we have job title, location, date, hour worked, efficiency percentage, error made, then the task status, productivity rating, supervisor. And then we have created some formula here to calculate the month, year, completed task, in progress, pending and total task. Okay. 
Now we have created a support sheet wherein we have created multiple pivot tables to create the various pages for the dashboard. For example, to create the overview page, we have created these all pivot tables like total employee. So this is a pivot table. You can see this is the pivot table and we are taking the count of the employee ID here to get the total employee. Okay. Similarly, average hour worked, total error made and some other information. So what we have done here, we have created these all cards. So let me show you uh, how we have created this one also. So first let's go to the review tab and just unprotect the seat. Seat will be unprotected without asking any password because we haven't put any password there. Now this is the text box you can see and this is also the text box. This is the icon we have just put here and these text box is connected with the support seat C4. So let me come here and this is the C4 of the support seat which is 500. So the same information is appearing. As I click on any of the slicer, in that case, that value will be changed here and same value will reflect here. So that is how it is working. And we have created some advanced chart also like uh, this 3D glass chart, pyramid chart or some other chart. So I will show you some of the chart like for the completion percentage, we have used this pyramid chart. So what we have done. Here what we are taking the completion percentage okay and this is the completion percentage transparent area which is nothing but 100% minus the completion value okay we have created a calculated field in the back end and that is how it is being calculated. So this is kind of 100% minus the completion percentage whatever value will return that is appearing here okay. Now we can create on the basis of these two, uh, let's insert a chart, insert a 3D chart. So I'm just going to insert the stack to 3D column chart, this one, okay. Now on the top we have the comp this transparent area and this is completion percentage at bottom. So we can just remove the legion, grid lines, axis, everything, okay. Now let's go to the for, uh, Pivot chart analyze and from the field button just hide all. All right. Now just right click here, go to the format data series and take the gap width as zero and gap depth also zero. So it is looking slightly bigger. All right. Now for this bottom section, you can fill some color, but before that, I would like to change the shape to the pyramid. So you can just right click, go to the format data series. And here we have the column shape. Let's take here full pyramid, this one. So now it has been changed to the pyramid. For the bottom part, you can fill whatever color you want to fill. Let's say I'm just taking here solid color and you can choose any color, whichever you want. For example, I'm taking this color. So you can see that is filled. Now select this section, which was for the transparent part. So just click on the solid fill. The same color will be filled automatically, take the same color, but this time we will increase the transparency. So let's take the transparency here, take around 80%. Okay, so it is looking like a transparent. Now we can click on the bottom side, this one and add the data level. So this is the data level, we can make it bigger and bold and black. Okay, so that is how we have created this one. You can change the color. We just have taken the different color, but here we have the different color. And then you can use the chart title also, like this is completion percentage. Okay. Now, if you want to learn more about how to create this type of dashboard, as well as how to create the advanced chart like we have created here, you can join our Udemy course. We have given the link in the video description box. In the course, we have explained in detail how you can create the advanced level of chart and how you can put them into a dashboard. Now you can put your data here on the data sheet in the same format. Don't make the changes in the column headers and then you can place your own data. And once data is there, you can go to the data tab and just say refresh all. Once you click on the refresh all, automatically the whole dashboard will be refreshed. And here on the top, what we have done, we just have taken the different rectangles. You can see this is a rectangle and at uh, back end, we have the same rectangle. This is also the rectangle you can see. And then here we have taken the some other rectangles 
normal rectangles and then we have placed the charts okay so that is how we have created this and here to create the navigation what we have done we just if you click it will take you to the another page right but here if you see just look at this shape this is the normal shape and you can take it from insert and shape and this is called this shape which is trap joint just click here from the field and button you can change the shape and pick this yellow handle move, it, All right. move to the right hand side and you can make it bigger similar to this one we have created this shape and then you can fill the same color whatever is the color of this back end rectangle okay and accordingly you can just create so then the other for the other one you can fill the no fill and then you can just create the hyperlink like let's say just click here press ctrl k and here you can select with this one and here just press ctrl k and you can link with this one okay so that is how we have created all right to learn more about the dashboards and pivot tables and the advanced level of charts you can join our course link is given in the video description box all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching